I think it's really fun to see a car chase in London. I haven't seen one in movies in a long time. It's great always to watch a car scene set in an interesting place. It's not just the cars, it's where the cars are driving. But it really is exciting in the movie. Okay, I'll drive. We're in England. It's kind of interesting when you, when you spend time in London and we shot in some fabulous locations there and had an amazing car chase, which really ups the ante in this picture. They decided on doing the chase here in London. We knew how logistically challenging it would be, and we even at one point started considering what other countries in Europe we could double for London that might make it a little easier. Obviously, this is a movie about shooting in places that we say we're in. It's all been in London which is a hell of a tall order, because when you do shoot in town, you've only got a certain time to lock off. A lot of the streets you can't lock off. So everyone has to know exactly where they're starting and where they finish. So everything has to be rehearsed. It's why we picked the runway at Bovingdon. Bovingdon basically was just all the rehearsals of, with the truck and the Range Rover, all doing its thing. We'd just be rehearsing each section, each sequence. We set up codes and measurements exactly the same as London. We're doing all the precision driving and the near misses, and it's mad, it's great. We had a five weeks rehearsals and we just tested every day, suddenly every day. I don't know what surface was good for the car, what tyres, what compounds, what tyre pressures, how deep and how fast we needed to come to each corner. I mean, the only thing we're missing on the rehearsals were the places where we make the contact and we saved that for the day. We marked all of those places, just got it so that when we came in, we just rolled into the location, everyone knew where they were going and uh, slotted into place really quickly. I like the chasing bits, everything we're doing here in London, you know, being in the car and being thrown around, that's really fun. Nick, who's doing most of the driving, is pretty fantastic. I mean, he's done a few car movies. I like to drive, but driving on the other side is, is complicated. It's, it's definitely not something I recommend without spending some time here first and getting comfortable with the road. The guys that he works with are also unbelievable stunt drivers. We just shot this thing the other day where I was in the passenger seat and Nick's stuntman was, was driving because it was a very dangerous stunt. And I didn't really know that it was dangerous. We were going through these tiny streets in London, almost hitting trees. And at the end of the take, I look at this guy like I didn't even know that it was possible that we could drive like that. They don't want me to be too clean with the driving, so wherever I can overcook the corners and make the arse fishtail out, that's been great. St Paul's, that's where when I slide off the road for a load of priests. It was early on in the schedule and it was second unit only, but it, nevertheless it was a, a big shoot. We needed to control one of the biggest tourist sites in London for a whole day. We shut the roads around it, we had lighting cranes in there, 400 extras all dressed as priests. We had to control the whole of the West Front, which is the big entrance of St Paul's. It's a big shoot. Yesterday, doing a little driving in the Range Rover, that was kind of fun, swerving around. That's pretty much what we're doing here. I mean, that's the bulk of what we're shooting in London, is this car chase through the streets of London, which involves a big beer truck with kegs of beer and Range Rovers and taxis and buses and all kinds of stuff happening. Well, with the beer truck, we've got the chase going on, and there's a lot of gunfire which releases the back of the truck. All the beer kegs start to pour out, and they're just going off and leaking beer and smashing into all the cars, going into all the pedestrians on the side of the road, through shop windows, through phone boxes. And also, the smashing of the police cars. You know, it's absolute carnage. It's like the Blues Brothers all over again, but in London, which no one ever thought could happen, you know? And we have smashed loads. This is a Fuller's truck, it's a beer truck. It's loaded with beer barrels, half foam, half uh, fiberglass. So what we've done, we've basically built the whole back of the truck from scratch. And we've put uh, devices in that fire beer barrels up in the air, which are basically just like a water cannon. We fill with like a beer substance and like a foam just to give you that beer look. We've got three different releases on it, so we can let like 20 barrels off at a time and then 40 and then another 20. The truck holds 200 kegs, 204 kegs, so we're probably going to leave 40 of them on there, but the rest should be falling off as we go. 
and most of them, as I say, are foam, so that when they hit the cars, they don't damage the cars. The mechanism for releasing the gate is literally just a ram underneath on a cable, and we fire it from the cab, and that just releases the gate. And that's basically uh, this, this effect. How many rounds have each? Two. Right, I'll give you a loaded gun now. So. That'll fire next time you pull the trigger. It's not this actual cab, we've got one specially made, which we call a cannon, uh, and it's got a roll cage in it, uh, all the glass has been tempered with, so it's all safe. I'll have pads on, um, we'll have the barrels in certain positions, I'll go along 30 mile an hour, 40, as fast as I can really. Bit of that, left and right, cameras will be set, and then I'll hit a button which shoots out a metal pole out the bottom of the cab, which has been rigged in here, which is inside, and it will just flip me over. Uh, as I turn into it, it will flip me. They don't want to roll, roll, roll. They're looking for more of a flip over, but then a slide. Morning. Yeah, it's perfect. Thanks, right. guys. Okay. Yeah. Roll, cameras. Speed. The baddie, Seth Wilkinson, who was in a taxi, he steals the beer truck for the rest of the chase sequence, so it's like using a battering ram in London. I'm just about to drive the Scania truck through the traffic lights, which will actually turn red, and there will be a post office van coming from the opposite direction, blocking my path, so I actually get to get collision with him, hopefully push him out of the way. The cabs are in for us, so I should be okay. I think it's the guy in the, in the post office van, what's that? He needs to be worried. Today we're in the middle of the car chase. We've taken over an alley that before we got here was just buildings. It's, it's breakaways, it's, it's the street corners, it's lamps that smash. We built everything in aluminium, all the, all the, the lamps are breakaway, and plastic, all the signage are breakaway. We hope that they don't take out the shops because we don't have a piece for those. We've dressed it as a kind of a quaint London alleyway where our heroes have kind of escaped the bad guys and as they're going they basically see the running of the bulls and the running being the pedestrian and the bull being a big giant beer truck. A gigantic beer truck which is driven by one of our villains comes down and starts taking everything out. No regard for human life, no regard for signage, no regard for tables in the marketplace. He just starts wiping stuff out. We've got 40 stun guys and 50 extras, and we've got to make that street look as busy as possible. It's a very tricky scenario we're trying to create here and keep it safe. People need exit routes. So once that lorry comes into the top of the alleyway, they can't go out behind it. They have to continue down. Pretty big deal. i got nine cameras on this setup. Three are on the beer truck, one's in the Mercedes. i got a crane up there. i got a dolly back there, and I've got cameras scattered around the streets. We probably have done probably about 14, 15 different setups during the course of the day to shoot this sequence. Those 14 or 15 times the nine cameras gives you a lot of footage to cut backwards and forth too. The concept here is to do as much destruction and mayhem as we can in the fastest amount of time, which also happens to be one of our specialties. <laughs> This car chase is the biggest one that's ever occurred in London. We've been really lucky in being able to turn some locations around very quickly and that has helped greatly in actually completing this car chase. Every single day we've come to work has not been an easy day for us. We've been crushing, eye glazed, lay downs, cannons, turnovers. We've been doing you know, big stunts every single day. So yeah, I'd say it's the biggest. This is definitely the biggest thing I've been involved with car chase wise in London, but you speak to a lot of people and they say this is the biggest car chase that's ever been shot in England, you know, let alone London.